Yeah, hey guys, um, it's right around 3.50 a.m. <clears throat> on Saturday, March 12th, and I am making this video because I actually just tried to use the toilet in my bathroom for the first time in many hours and have been quietly um, resting on my bed for the last few hours and suddenly and very quietly got up to try to use my bathroom. And I've made multiple videos about how every single time I try to use a toilet in my bathroom, the psychopath who lives in Unit 78, whose bathroom shares a wall with my bathroom and my kitchen area, suddenly becomes very agitated in her bathroom directly behind the wall of my toilet. And I've always said this happens 24-7. Um, every single time I try to use the toilet in my bathroom, she is right there. And just now at 3.50 a.m. on a Saturday morning when nobody, you know, most people are resting, don't have to be up early for work. She doesn't work anyway. She has never worked in the entire eight years that she's lived in this building. But, um, yeah, suddenly there was agitation directly behind my toilet. Um, and my bathroom suddenly... <coughs> Yeah, see, um, my bathroom suddenly started filling with marijuana fume. <coughs> <coughs> marijuana fumes from, <coughs> from the bathroom of 78, where the psychopath seems to spend most of her life, how sad for her, um, being aggressive and disruptive against the wall that her bathroom shares with my kitchen area and with my bathroom. This person is not normal. They do not behave in any kind of regulated, you know, normal goal oriented fashion. Her behavior is completely dysregulated as I just described because at 3:50 AM, when I quietly get up from my bed to try to use a toilet in my bathroom, as soon as I physically sit on the toilet, she becomes aggressive and disruptive directly behind the wall that her bathroom shares with my bathroom and right behind my toilet. So as I was sitting there, the entire bathroom my bathroom suddenly started filling with marijuana fumes. And <coughs> also when I emerged from my bathroom and tried to walk over to my kitchen sink, um, the entire area around my kitchen sink also smelled like marijuana fumes. Like, like five people had just been smoking pot right next to my kitchen sink. So I can't believe that this happens at 3.50 a.m. when most normal people are resting. I mean, I was resting. I just had to get up and go pee. But she has this pathological need to harass me every single time I try to use my toilet. She gets a total power kick out of this. Happens every single time. So this video is just one more dot on the data sheet that I'm creating of how many times I try to use my toilet and how many times the psychotic nut job in Unit 78 becomes aggressive and disruptive against the, the wall directly behind my toilet. I mean, she's not even like 10 feet away. She's right behind my toilet. And she likes to do that. It gives her a power trip. So that's her motivation, obviously, because she has no power. Otherwise, she's a total piece of shit. She sits there in her bathroom all day long, all night long, smoking marijuana, smoking foul smelling substances. That I have absolutely no idea what they might be. I have no way of identifying what she smokes and burns in there. And she does this like 24 seven. That is her entire life. Um, it's sad, but it also prevents me from being able to do what I need to do um, in my unit and in my bathroom. And I have you know, the right to request my rent back because I can't use the facilities when I need to and as I need to without being aggressively harassed and disrupted. Like right now I'm coughing like crazy because my entire bathroom just filled with marijuana fumes and the area around my kitchen sink also filled with marijuana fumes while I was sitting there trying to use the toilet.